Today is Veterans Day, a time when we honor our military veterans for their service to our country. People gathered at events across Metro Detroit to mark the occasion at the Great Lakes National Cemetery in Holly. A special ceremony was held to honor our local veterans. A wreath laying ceremony honored all branches of the armed forces there. And veterans got a hero's welcome at the Down River Elementary School today. Bates Elementary in Woodhaven honored local veterans with a drive through parade. Hundreds of students lined the parking lot, waving and holding signs, thanking veterans as they passed by. And joining me for a special seven up front this evening is Kwesi Betsurai, Wayne County Veterans Services Director. Happy Veterans Day to you, sir. Thank you for your service and thank you for being here. Well, thank you, Ms. Lewis. Thank you for inviting me in on behalf of Wayne County Executive Warren Evans again. Just a big thank you and a happy, veteran, happy Veterans Day to the roughly 79,000 veterans that reside in Wayne County's 43 communities. Wow, incredible number there. That's a big uh, number. It's a big yeah, number. <laughs> very big number. Uh, we were able to speak last year about how the pandemic impacted the veteran community. How have things changed? Are things any different this year? I would say that it's getting a little bit better, but you know, just like the rest of uh, the population, veterans have been impacted by the economics of it. And a lot of them are coming to us for some assistance with the rent payments, uh, mortgage payments and things of that sort. So we, we're just a microcosm of the larger society. And so we need help just like the rest of the population. And so Wayne County uh, focuses on getting that help to them. Yes, and access to those services are so important. Um, what kind of services are available to veterans that maybe people don't know about? Well, I'll share with you again, this is one of the best kept secrets in Wayne County, Wayne County Veterans Services. And we're set up to provide immediate financial relief to the roughly 79,000 veterans that reside in Wayne County. And how do we do it? We provide monies for rent, mortgage, car payments. You know, there's some food insecurities in Wayne County. We can provide that veteran with some groceries, right? And what we're looking for before I go on is to make sure that they're honorably discharged and they reside in Wayne County, right? And if it's annotated on their DD-214, we can give them a checklist and if we start helping them with, again, um, property taxes. In this case, we'll go back to 2018, the last three years, because again, we're talking about shelter. We wanna make sure those veterans stay in their homes. We talk about some medical bills. We can help with that. Uh, for those who are facing a, a death in the family, if it's a veteran, we can pay up to $1,000 towards that burial reimbursement. And so we talk about shelter again. We can provide furniture to that veteran and his family. And let me be clear, it's not just the veteran, it's the dependents and it's the spouse and or the widow of a veteran that was honorably discharged and they reside in Wayne County. Thank goodness for that. How can people apply for these services and are there any other agencies that you would encourage veterans to look into? Yes, ma'am. So our number is 313-224-5045. I say again, 313-224-5045. You can also go to waynecounty.com I'm in waynecounty.com backslash veterans, and you can see a, a list of our services, but that's a great resource to start for any, any uh, citizen in Wayne County to start with our website because we have a host of services that would benefit them. Uh, some of the other agencies that we're familiar with would be like um, uh, Wayne Metro, Southwest Solutions. There are a lot of sister organizations within Wayne County's borders that focus on helping area veterans and area citizens uh, during this time. Well, our veterans need us, that is for sure, Kwesi. Thank you so much, because they're always there to answer our call. We appreciate right. you. you know, yes. and you know, what if I went, we were talking earlier, at least I heard some of the earlier interviews, the, the COVID, vaccine, COVID vaccinations. So I wanna make sure it was clear that Wayne County provides those vaccinations to its citizens. Our local health departments can assist with that. And they, um, the, there's a telephone number for that, and that's 866-610-3885. And as we just mentioned, the numbers are going up, right? And so we can be proactive and get the vaccination. Wayne County can be a part of that and help you get that vaccination. All right, we appreciate that. Thank you so much again for being with us tonight. Well, thank you for having me. I wanna wish every veteran a happy Veterans Day. And again, thank you again for allowing me to share this time with you. All right, have a good evening, sir. You too, take care. 